Hey guys, welcome back to Pine Haven Acres Rabbitry. So today I'm going to be preparing for a show that I have going on tomorrow. It's about an hour and 40 minutes away from here, so we have to leave super early in the morning. So I want to have everything prepped and ready tonight and today so that we can leave on time tomorrow. Um, I wanted to show you kind of what I do to prepare for a show and hopefully this will help any new rabbit showers um, or if you're just looking into it. So the first thing that I did was make a to-do list and also a list of stuff that I need to pack and bring. And then this is my record book. Um, I've printed out a ton of pedigrees for a couple litters that I'll be bringing to sell at the show. Um, I've already pre-sold some of those so I just want to have everything um, ready for them and orderly in my notebook. Um, so yeah, otherwise today we're just going to be doing um, the stuff on the to-do list and hopefully it'll help you. So this is the stuff that I'm going to be bringing. And this is my to-do list. The first thing that I'm going to be doing is probably washing the dishes um, so that I can put them into the carriers and that will be for the food and water while we're at the show all day long. Um, and then I should probably get started on tattooing some of the kits. Um, when I tattooed them a couple weeks ago, um, I was out of time that day, so I only did their number, not my rabbitry abbreviation. So they only have like a partial tattoo right now, so I'll finish that up, um, and then we will continue on with the list. Another thing that I have done is write down who is going in what carrier cage for the show. Um, I'm bringing, I haven't even counted yet, but over 10 rabbits um, easily so I need to make sure that I know what carrier the rabbits are going in this is a super sloppy you know rough draft um, of what it looks like but I kind of have in my head what carriers I drew out and what they look like um, so for a lot of the babies that I'm bringing I want to make sure that they are with their litter mates so they don't fight um, with other bunnies if I mix up the litters and also that they are separated by gender um, and then I have written down the rabbits that I have for sale because I am bringing the whole litter some of them I'm showing some of them um, I'm selling and some have already been sold so I need to keep pretty good records of all of that stuff um, and then I do plan on bringing home at least three new rabbits so I need to make sure that I have empty carriers ready for those as well. So this is my record book. I wanted to show you what I have inside of it and also show you our new business cards. Printed out a ton of these for the show tomorrow. The format has changed a little bit and I edited and updated the information on the back of them. So inside of the record book I have a bunch of empty sleeves here and these are for um, my pedigrees that I give away with the rabbits that I sell so I make sure that I have plenty of those. This pedigree is all ready to go for a rabbit that I pre-sold and then I have all the extra pedigrees right here ready to go and printed out. Um, I do recommend if you plan on having a lot of litters in a year that you either get a pedigree program or you make a format like this on Google Docs or Word. I've done it on Google Docs. Super easy. I love this method now. I used to write everything out, but it took so long and with having multiple litters in a year, it was just a lot of time. So what I have done is I fill in the breeding pairs information. And then every time they have a litter, all I have to do is go in and edit this one box. So it takes less than a minute and I have the pedigree printed out. So that has been super nice. And then moving on, I have some show entry forms. Um, when I register, they send me the rabbits that I signed up for and the price for all of them. So these are old ones and this is the one for tomorrow. 
it really does come in handy to have these, um, especially if you're showing a lot of rabbits. You can bring this down on show day to the rabbits and make sure that you have checked off all of the rabbits that you signed up for and they are loaded up and in your car. And then I just have my membership card for ARBA, American Rabbit Breeders Association. Uh, we are a registered rabbitry. And then I have all of my breeding stock pedigrees here. I make sure to have copies of them stay at home just in case this book goes missing. And then I have empty pedigrees for writing out something last minute. These are old pedigrees for rabbits that I sold without them. And then these are old um, doe hutch cards. So when I breed a rabbit, I write down the um, all the information of that doe and her babies and who she was bred to, all the dates, all that kind of stuff. So these are the old ones. Um, the ones that I'm currently using are in a different notebook. And then I just have some more empty sleeves. So that is my record book. All right, we're getting ready to wash some dishes. I've got a pile here and two feeders there for the new rabbits that we're bringing home. So let's get started. So I'm finishing up tattooing um, the beginning half of my tattoos on a couple bunnies. Last time when I was tattooing I didn't have enough time so um, I've already disinfected their ears and sprayed them with a numbing spray. So now I'm putting a little bit of Vaseline over the spot that I will be tattooing. And I've got my tattoo pen here and my ink all ready to go. Um, I have some extra pieces of paper towel to uh, wipe away any extra ink and then I have antibiotic ointment that I'll put on afterwards. Alright, I have the clean dishes all ready to go here. 
Um, I need to put all of these into our show carriers and then also get some hay in the carriers. And then I'm going to um, take these J feeders and put them into some empty cages that we'll put the new rabbits in when we get back from the show. I don't know if you can see, but I also have some resting mats down here um, as well. So it's getting really chilly out. It's now the afternoon. Um, I'm probably going to start with the cages outside and then we'll move back in here and start on the show cages. Alright, so we are back in the shed. Um, all of the cages outside are ready to go for new rabbits. Um, I'm going to be loading these cages with hay and um, their empty food and water containers. I have these little black containers. It's a little bit dark in here, but that's what it looks like to hook on. Um, I just bought these at the last show, so I'm going to try them out for water and food. Um, I don't think I have quite enough for all of my cages, so I also have these bigger bowls with a clip on here. Um, so I'll use those for the cages that I plan on having two rabbits in instead of one. And yeah, we'll get started. So what I like to do is put the food and water dishes on one side of the cage and then the hay on the opposite side because otherwise the hay gets in the water and it gets all gross. So they usually end up sitting on the hay in the back um, but they nibble on it when they want so I just don't want the hay to get in the water. And I also won't be filling these up with water until we get to the show so they don't spill in the car. So that is one down and like eight more to go. <laughs> so next what I have to do is write out some cage tags for all of the carriers telling me uh, what rabbit is in that carrier. This makes it a ton easier and I don't need to open up all of the cages to check ear tags. So um, these are old ones that I took out. I'll zoom you guys in a little bit. 
So there's a cage tag um, holder here. It's a metal piece with uh, curved edges so you can slide a piece of paper in there. Um, these were from the last show. I also brought out my uh, notebook with all the cage drawings in it I showed you earlier. So I'm going off of this. I have these note cards. They don't fit perfect so I'm going to have to measure and cut them. Um, but I'm going to write down the tattoo numbers of the rabbits in here and the gender of them um, and possibly the price uh, but I also have to say that they're for sale on here. Alright, so we're going to slide that in here, and that cage is ready to go. Here's the next cage. Um, I also wanted to mention that I color coordinate them, so the yellow is the for sale rabbits, and then the white is the ones that I am just showing. So I've already gotten the car ready. I put down all the seats and I put down a tarp. And I like to do the tarp because it helps the rabbits not spill everything all over the car and it's really easy for cleanup. I've also got a bucket of pellets here. I have little baggies for a transition feed for the rabbits that I'm selling. And then I have a big baggie at the bottom of this for my rabbits as well as a scoop. Next, I've got my water jug, and the water pours out from the bottom, so it's super easy to fill up all the containers. And lastly, I have a bag of hay. I don't think we're going to break into this, but might as well bring it just in case. So that is everything for the garage. Now we're going to drive down to the rabbits, load up a few more things from the shed, and then tomorrow... Um, I will load up the rabbits themselves and the carriers and we will be all ready to go. Um, I think there might be a few more things to gather up inside the house. And tomorrow I'll make that into a whole other video. So we'll end this video um, with getting the stuff from inside the house after the shed. So we are in the shed. Um, the last couple things that I need to grab from here are my show cart. This is for all of the cages. Um, it's easier to bring them in on this than to carry them. Um, I also have some bungees that are already in the car for this. And then I also have a little posing table and my carpet piece right here. I get the carpet pieces from the dollar store. They are in the kitchen section. Um, they're more for like a mat or like a rug sort of thing, but works perfect and it's cheap, so easily replaceable. So I'm going to load this stuff up and then we will head inside. So we're inside now. Um, I'm gathering all my stuff that was in here and putting it in my bag. Um, I'm also going through my list. And I noticed that we forgot to put folding chairs in the car while we were in the garage. So I'm going to go do that as soon as we're done here. Um, that's something that you are definitely going to want to bring to a show because they usually don't provide seating. So if you have a folding chair, make sure you bring it. And then um, next, 
I just have to pack my backpack. Um, as far as food, there's usually either a food truck or a concession, but it kind of is pricey um, in my opinion. So we like to bring our own food. Um, my mom is going to take care of that, and then we have snacks in the car already. So she's going to help me um, take care of the rabbits when we're there bringing them to the table and filming. So um, so the first thing that I'm going to pack is my standard of perfection. Um, I can look at this while the rabbits are being judged, and it helps... Um, know what the rabbit looks like and what the judges are looking for and all that kind of stuff. So I got that. I have some markers and pens. I have my wallet, my record book with all the pedigrees in it, and then I've filled out this um, chalkboard I'll bring it a little bit closer so that you can read it. This is what I like to have when I have rabbits for sale um, or just to tell people it's Pine Haven Acres. Um, quite a few of you guys have come over and said hello at the shows, so thank you for that. And um, this sign just tells everybody who we are. So I have my rabbits for sale there, so if I'm not sitting down, then uh, by my rabbits, then people can come by and see that I have some rabbits for sale. And then I'll pack up my camera um, and charge my phone tonight. And I also just thought of a tip. If you wear contacts to a rabbit show, bring your contact container and extra solution because I promise you, you're going to want it when you get rabbit fur in your eye, which you probably will. So, if you wear contacts, bring that stuff just in case. Alright, so with that, I think we are done packing. Besides the chairs that I'll get to, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little bit um, of kind of what to expect, how to pack. And if you're new to showing, I hope this was pretty educational for you. So yeah, thank you guys for watching.